You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's evening prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O living breath from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred heart of Jesus, without you, we would not have made it. Sacred heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, O sacred heart, O Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may come and quiet all hearts. We seek comfort and refuge inside your gentle heart, O sacred heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you down on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. O sacred heart, what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks? For as the day progressed, you provided for us beyond measure. Your generous heart gave to us without condition, even though you have every right to demand from us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, we offer you our hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. O blessed sacrament, the tabernacle of our heart desperately needs you. Without you, it is cold and empty, but with you, it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate before you, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And we pray especially for our brothers and sisters in Saudi Arabia where being a follower of Christ is essentially against the law. Now, if you come from a big country like the United States or England, you will probably get away with worshiping in private. That is, with for worshiping Jesus in private. Excuse me. But if you come from one of the smaller countries, not even in private can you worship Christ, and they will throw you in jail. To say the least, they will punish you. You will pay the price for following Jesus. Now, there's one way to that I feel 
to change that whole scenario in Saudi Arabia. And that is by the leadership from the top down, from the prince or king or whatever the ranking or title they use is, down to his servants to experience the love of Jesus Christ and to be able to open their eyes to Jesus and become Christ's followers. And so we pray for a revival in the country of Saudi Arabia from the king down to his subjects, everyone in the entire country to experience a revival that Saudi Arabia may be known as the Christian country of the Middle East. We also pray, Lord, for all those who persecute your people. That your Holy Spirit will touch the hearts of those who persecute your people. So that their eyes may be open and they may become your followers. And Lord, we pray for all bishops. Especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. And we pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick. Especially those who suffer from cancer. Lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. Gracious Father, we pray for an end to the Ebola outbreak. And we pray for those who are sick with Ebola. Have mercy on them and heal them. We pray for those who care for them, protect them. And Heavenly Father, we pray for grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. The gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us. To make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks 
of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, Revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, a sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you. Imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer. I am thrilled to see so many people from different parts of the world join us in prayer on a regular basis. We have people from Australia the United Kingdom from Italy, the Philippines, Hong Kong, Canada, Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, Japan. We have, from, the, from Australia, we got from the city of Port Maguire. We got some folks that are praying with us. Uh, we also have from Carlingford, Australia. We got folks from East Greenstead, United Kingdom. Come from the United States. We have people from, of course, Newport Ritchie. We got people from Ashburn. We got people from Orlando, Springfield. Wilkesboro, Broken Arrow, and from Spring. We have had a total of 